if you have a temperament that when others are fearful, you're going to get scared yourself, you know, you are not going to make a lot of money in securities over time in all probability. Warren Buffett's insight emphasizes the importance of composure in investing, promoting a resilient mindset to seize possible opportunities amidst market fears. Welcome back to the Finance Zoom channel. Today, I'll turn my spotlight on the Oracle of Omaha, delving into strategies and secrets to prosper in the upcoming recession of 2024. Three, let's talk a little bit about this because you've got a pretty stark concern about what's happening with the economy right now. Let's get right into this. Are we headed towards a crash? What's your outlook? The Eurozone is already in a recession, two quarters of negative growth in Q4 and Q1, and now there is a sharp slowdown of growth uh, also in China that doesn't bode well for U.S. exports. So my baseline is still one of a recession as opposed to a soft landing, yes. I can tell you that uh, we continue to expect a recession, most likely during the first half of next year. As you have heard, many business analysts have raised concerns about the U.S. economy and possible recession. Although this sounds like bad news, people who plan well can exploit the situation to increase their net wealth. Join me on a journey into wealth creation and financial wisdom with Warren Buffett. Let's focus on mastering the art of thriving when others succumb to fear. I always remember what Warren Buffett says about economic downturns being part of the game. According to him, it's good news when stocks go down because he's a net buyer of stocks. I think that's a pretty smart way to look at it. Even in tough economic times, making savvy investment choices can set you up for long-term wealth. Let's dig into upcoming opportunities and strategically determine how to position ourselves for financial success. Let's chat about three key pieces of Warren Buffett's wisdom to kick things off. Anytime stocks go down, as far as I'm concerned, I like it because I'm a net buyer of stocks. I'm, I've been buying stocks ever since I was 11 years old. So uh, when stocks go down, it's good news. Just like when hamburgers go down, it's good news. <laughs> or Coca-Cola goes down, it's good news. In terms Number one, be debt free and keep cash handy. You're at the starting line of your wealth building journey and Warren Buffett is handing you the keys to success. The first piece of advice he gives you is pretty straightforward, but oh so powerful. First off, Warren saying, hey, clear out those debts. It's like decluttering your financial closet. Being debt free isn't just about saying no to annoying interest payments. It's about making your money work for you, not against you. Now, onto the cash. Warren's like, always keep some cash on hand. Why? Well, life's full of surprises, especially when the economy's doing its thing. Having some cash is like having a superhero sidekick, ready to swoop in when opportunities knock. It's about being in control, ready to tackle whatever comes your way. Think of it this way, being debt-free and having cash is like being the boss of your money. You're not a passenger. You're the one with the steering wheel. While others might be scrambling, you're cruising confidently, ready to jump on opportunities. If you want to get rich in 2024, start by clearing those debts and keeping some cash handy. It's like setting the stage for your financial success. You're not just watching from the sidelines. You're right in the driver's seat, in charge of your wealth journey. Number 2. Pay attention to the market and invest smartly. Keep your eyes on the waves. When you spot a good opportunity, don't just dive in unquestioningly. Be a strategic surfer. Analyze, plan, and make your move with intention. As Warren Buffett said, don't invest in something you don't understand. In times like that, everything may seem like an opportunity. This is where you have to be careful, because making the wrong choices would be a very expensive pill to swallow down the road. So fellow financial adventurers, remember, it's not about luck. It's about being the captain of your financial ship. Navigate wisely. Number three, don't follow speculation, avoid greedy choices, and focus on long-term goals. Buffett's mantra of not following speculation and steering clear of greedy choices is particularly relevant during a recession. Emphasizing a disciplined investment approach, avoiding impulsive decisions, and staying focused on long-term goals can safeguard against financial pitfalls. In line with Warren Buffett's outlook on economic downturns, it's crucial to view recessions not as setbacks, 
but as opportunities for wealth creation. Buffett's own experiences highlight that, for the wealthy, economic downturns often translate into increased earnings. Now, it's time to eliminate the fear of recessions and the crash of stocks by listening to these wise words from Warren Buffett. Well, I don't think there's a particular risk in the economy over time. We will have recessions from time to time. And we had a real doozy in the fall of 2008 and early 2009. And that has had more consequences than other recessions have had post-World War II. But uh, the American economy is a wonderful machine. It, it really works. It's worked since 1776 and it'll continue to work. But it, we, <clears throat> we will continue to have ups and downs. Now let's talk about what's coming up on the economic horizon of 2024. Jobs might be shaky, wages uncertain, and assets doing a bit of a limbo dance. But here's the silver lining. You've got Warren Buffett's strategies in your toolkit. Whatever twists and turns the economic landscape throws at you, you're armed and ready to navigate it all with Buffett's insights. You may look into these areas for maximum opportunity when the recession hits. Number one, real estate. Are you thinking about real estate? It's not just a smart move. It's a strategic play that can pave your way to wealth by delving into regional variations and identifying potential hotspots. You're not merely purchasing property, but investing in opportunities. Warren Buffett's approach to real estate emphasizes understanding local dynamics armed with this insight. You gain a significant advantage, recognizing each region's unique stories, whether it's a burgeoning neighborhood, a developing business hub, or a revitalization project, allows you to position yourself ahead of the curve. While the housing market may sway amidst economic uncertainties, Buffett's wisdom empowers you to turn these market swings into victories. Instead of viewing downturns as obstacles, you're poised to make strategic moves, potentially seizing undervalued properties or capitalizing on distinctive circumstances during economic challenges. With a focus on long-term gain, applying Buffett's principles to real estate transforms it into a canvas for lasting wealth, where each market fluctuation becomes an opportunity for success in the grand economic landscape of recession 2024. Number two, stock market. Next, let's talk about the stock market, the financial playground where fortunes are made. This isn't a game of chance, it's a tactical journey. When diving into stocks during the recession of 2024, think of it as carefully selecting players for your team. Pick companies with both potential and muscle, those with robust finances and promising growth trajectories. Warren Buffett's advice echoes in the background be greedy when others are fearful. During panic and uncertainty, this is your golden opportunity to shine. While others might hesitate, your strategic choices and fearless approach could set the stage for significant financial gains. It's not just about weathering the storm, it's about leveraging the storm to your advantage and emerging stronger on the other side. Number three, exploring alternatives, crypto and metals. Next, Explore alternatives like crypto and metals. Diving into alternative investments like cryptocurrencies and precious metals can be your secret weapon for wealth building in 2024. Warren Buffett's endorsement of these alternative assets positions them as more than options. They become your financial sidekicks. Crypto, with its decentralized nature, can offer a hedge against traditional market fluctuations. Precious metals like gold and silver historically retain value during economic downturns, acting as a stable anchor in tumultuous financial seas. By diversifying your investments into these alternative realms, you're not just spreading your financial wings, you're fortifying your portfolio with assets that have the potential to thrive when traditional markets face uncertainty. In a world where stability is a sought after commodity, these alternatives could be your secret weapons to weather the storm of recession and potentially come out on top, building a path to wealth amidst economic challenges. But you shouldn't buy stocks unless you expect to hold them for a very extended period and you are prepared financially and psychologically to hold them the same way you would hold a farm and never look at a quote. You don't need to pay attention to them. And you're not going to pick the bottom and nobody else can pick it for you or anything of the sort. You've got to be prepared to, when you buy a stock, have it go down 50% or more. 
Number 4. Entrepreneurial Ventures Ever thought about starting a business? Well, now is the time. Warren did it during tough times, and you can too. Identify gaps in the market, fill them, and boom, you're on the road to success. This marks the end of your journey towards lasting wealth. Consider Warren your guide, steering you through the twists and turns of a recession where opportunities often hide amidst challenges. Adopting a strategic mindset is crucial whether you're an investor, homeowner, or entrepreneur. Understanding the nuances of the economic landscape and making well-informed decisions will position you for success, even in tough times. So don't hesitate. Seize those opportunities and confidently navigate this financial landscape. Remember, it's all about you and your path to prosperity. As the saying wisely notes, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Embrace the opportunities that arise and stride through the economic landscape with unwavering confidence. Thanks for joining me today on Finance Zoom. What do you think about this topic? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Finance Zoom channel. I'll see you in the next video.